Big, big cuz Herb, aka my brother, he just hit me with a Taco Bell delivery. He said he got me a uh, a Locos Taco. I don't know if y'all can. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn it around. Locos Taco Doritos. It's a regular taco from Taco Bell, but. And he got me a regular taco, too. But I ain't going to eat that one on camera. This is just a regular taco. I'm going to do the Locos taco because this is a trending thing right now, man. This is something that everybody been talking about. I've been seeing it on social media. Everybody talking about how good it is and all this stuff. From what he told me, it's a regular taco. But the shell is a Dorito. So, we about to check it out. Oh, yeah. This this definitely look like a Dorito. This taco ain't that big, man. It's a nice, small, simple taco. Dorito shell. Lettuce, tomatoes, cheese on the inside. Look like cheddar cheese. About to take a bite. I'm going to tell y'all what I think. On the Taco Bell scale, this is a 10 out of a 10 taco. 10 out of 10. I don't know what it is, but that shell, that shell give it a whole nother, a whole nother, um, the shell get a taco a new life. To make a long story short, the shell get a taco a new life. A regular Taco Bell shell is cool. It got nice seasoning on it and everything. But I really feel like I'm eating a nacho. Y'all ever made nachos with... Y'all ever made nachos and ate it with Doritos? Like dip the Dorito in the nacho? That's exactly what this tastes like. My shell broke off. I imagine the shell break easily because it's harder to make a taco into a shell. I mean, it's harder to make a, a Dorito into a taco shell versus a normal taco shell. The next time I eat Taco Bell, I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to get one of these Locos tacos, and I'm going to eat it with a regular taco, and then I'm going to compare them for y'all. But this is better than a regular taco, in my opinion. A regular Taco Bell taco. This is my first time having a Taco Bell taco in a minute. The last time I had Taco Bell, I had a bowl. It was a bowl with like stuff in it. I forgot the name of the bowl. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have to do my 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 little research and my homework to sit, to uh, look it up and see what it was called. Now I'm gonna tell y'all my next Taco Bell video. But based off my memory, this is better than a regular taco. It's like the shell is crunchy and hard, 
but it's not too hard. Like, the texture of the shell don't give me Dorito vibes, but the flavor of the shell give me Dorito vibes. That's the best way I can describe it. The shell is like in the middle between hard and soft. It's like a medium shell. And like I said, the flavor is 100% Dorito. Like if I ate this with my eyes closed and nobody told me what they was handing me, I would say, man, this tastes like a Dorito with, like a, if somebody handed me this taco and didn't tell me nothing about it, I would be like, man, this, this tastes like a Dorito. This is a 10 out of 10 Taco Bell taco. That's all I got left. I'm rocking with this. This is the type of container it came in. A lot of the taco came out. Well, not a lot of it, but some of it came out. But, uh, yeah, this is the type of thing it came in. It got the little thing on the side so it can stay secure on one end. And then it's the end that you're supposed to grab it out of. But, yeah, man. 10 out of 10. Taco Bell Taco, man. I definitely recommend this taco. And if I was y'all, I would buy it. I would go get it. I don't know how much it costs, because like I said, my cousin bought it for me. But he bought more than one. So it's worth the money. And he the one who told me I should try this. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had this taco, this Logos Taco, or other vi other food videos that I did in the past that I can't speak on because this this video is solely sp specifically about Taco Bell, man. So Taco Bell did their thing with this. 